Hello, hope you're doing well. Uh, here's a video for you today about Pac-Man. So if you are on Arch or anything Arch based that uses Pac-Man, uh, we're gonna go through pretty much all of the Pac-Man essentials. Uh, now I did cover Pac-Man briefly if you did watch my Arch post install video. Uh, I'm gonna be going a little bit more in depth than that and just running through a whole lot of stuff about Pac-Man. Uh, so first up, I, I want to look at the wiki actually, and, and specifically I would like to look at this page, uh, Pac-Man slash Rosetta. Of course, an allusion to the Rosetta Stone here. Uh, and this is really helpful because if you're coming from another distro and you're used to like Debian's commands here, uh, it's just got a translation essentially of what the Pac-Man command would be for the command you're used to. So I just wanted to point that out. It's just on the wiki um, under Pac-Man slash Rosetta. Uh, and hopefully that will be helpful if you are coming from another distro to Arch. Uh, anyway, so back to the command line here. First of all, I just want to say to update your mirrors if you haven't already updated when you installed Arch, um, because I don't want to be using mirrors. For example, I'm in the US. I don't want to be using mirrors in the UK because those will be extremely slow uh, and I could just be using mirrors that are in the US. So uh, you can just do that with Reflector. So Reflector. And if you've already done this when you installed Arch, just bear with me. Uh, country, US, uh, I'm gonna put the latest 10. I wanna sort uh, by rate here. Uh, and I wanna save it to Etsy uh, pacman.d uh, slash mirror list. Uh, so I can go ahead and if I pressed enter, that would update all my mirrors and save them to the mirror list. Assuming you've done that, okay, great, let's move on. So how do you install a package with pacman. Uh, so sudo pacman dash s and then I'll just put my package name so zsh for example and yeah that'll go ahead and install a package for me. Uh, I could also do syu zsh so that will update as I install the package and uh, if you don't already know uh, because Arch is a rolling release distribution um, ideally you should be upgrading pretty often and beyond that you should not be doing partial upgrades so I shouldn't upgrade uh, some packages and then leave others. Uh, I don't want to like you know upgrade a bunch of packages but not upgrade my kernel because then you're going to end up with you know dependency issues and all sorts of stuff so uh, I did mention this in my post install video but I would recommend if you're a new user updating maybe once a week or you know once every few days once a week something around that. Um, and yeah, so I, I would not just go ahead, if you're not updating regularly, I would not use uh, just pacman-s, I would just make sure you're using SYU to install if you're not updating regularly. But if you are updating regularly, uh, dash s should cut it uh, in most circumstances. All right, um, so let's actually talk about, well, what does uh, the s mean here? That just means sync. Uh, and if I wanted to update with SYU, so that's going to sync and then um, that's going to refresh the databases here. Y is going to refresh databases. And then uh, I, I could double up the Y actually to force refresh. And then U is saying just upgrade anything that needs to be upgraded. Uh, and you can see, well, if I add that double Y, that'll force refresh it and actually force it to make sure it's synchronized. Okay, so that's installing and upgrading. What about removing? So removing is just going to be pacman r uh, but I like to add on a couple more flags and that's going to be n and s. Uh, so what we're doing, we're just saying remove and then n is saying, um, here I'll, I'll just go to that uh, specifically here. So n is saying remove any unneeded uh, system configuration files. So that's not your user files, that's not your dot file configuration. Um, that's just system configuration. And if you were to reinstall that package, uh, that would all be reinstalled. And then S is just saying remove any unneeded dependencies. Um, so for example, just for how dependencies work, if you don't know how dependencies work for packages, um, if I were to try to remove ZSH here, well, I can't because I have ZSH uh, syntax highlighting installed here. Um, so how dependencies work. If I have ZSH syntax highlighting, well, that's going to require ZSH to function because it's syntax highlighting for ZSH. So that's what a dependency is. A dependency is just ZSH would be the dependency required by the syntax highlighting. Um, dependency is just saying that this one package requires this other package for it to work. And don't worry because it's not going to let you remove packages that you need. Uh, that are required by other packages. So if I wanted to remove ZSH, I would have to remove the syntax highlighting first and then remove ZSH. All right, so that's enough about removing packages. Uh, what if I wanna just search through the Arch official repositories for a package, I can do pacman-ss and that's gonna sync and then search. 
And I could just, I, I don't know, search for ZSH here. Uh, okay, great. That's a lot of packages about ZSH and it'll conveniently, it'll tell me the version number um, and it'll tell me that it's installed. Uh, I can also use a regex if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, and, and of course I, I could technically go here and just search through the packages here if I really wanted to, um, but you know, I can just do it directly from the command line. So why wouldn't die, right? Um, anyway, so that's that's searching remotely. You can also just search on your system. So first of all, I could just do uh, pacman-q and I'll pipe that into less here and that'll just um, tell me all the packages I have installed with their version number. Uh, and great, I can go up and down and look through those. Uh, I, I could also do a QS if I wanted to get information on each of those packages. So if you're trying to manage your packages and you're like thinking, you know, I might have a lot of packages I don't need, I, I really want to read through and see if everything is doing something that I actually need here. Well, you can just use Pacman QS and you could, you could pipe it into less just so you can read through it conveniently and see if you need to remove anything. Um, something else that, that is actually a weird use case, but Hear me out. Um, I believe it's it's QQ. Uh, let me pipe that into less and see. Uh, okay, yeah. So this is something where if you are trying to install like a copy of your current system, but like on a laptop or a different computer, and you want to just get all of your packages in a format that you could put into a file and then stick it on the other computer and just install from that file, so you don't have to like manually go through and figure out what packages you need because you know that you're just going to want the exact same packages that you already have. Uh, that is what this could be for. Uh, and I'm just mentioning that because I've actually done that before. So just letting you know that's an option available. Uh, so you don't try to spend like an hour trying to, you know, set up in another system with and trying to figure out what packages you need, all that. Okay, um, we, can, we can also just look up uh, QI and that's just gonna give us a lot of info about a package. So if I just wanna QI ZSH, I don't know why I keep using ZSH here. Uh, but yeah, that's just gonna give me, you know, name, version, description, all sorts of stuff. Um, I could also, I could look up how many packages I have installed. So I could just do a uh, Q and then pipe it into, uh, not less, uh, I could pipe it into word count. So word count, uh, and just look for lines and okay, I have, uh, 1107 packages installed here. Okay. That's, uh, that's a lot of packages. I could also see, uh, if I just wanted to see how many packages I had explicitly installed, because if you recall with dependencies, some packages are just going to install other packages with them. So if I want to see how many I actually installed myself, uh, we could do QE and that's going to tell me, all right, I explicitly installed 261 packages myself. Okay, great. Um, you can also see a uh, location for an installed package. So I could do pacman-ql. I don't know, let's do something other than ZSH. Um, how about how about zip, sticking with the Zs here. Um, okay, so, so we've got directories uh, that files that zip had installed. These are directories where it installed. Okay, great. And, and that's useful if you're trying to find, for whatever reason, like a system configuration that was installed, um, just anything that you would need to know where it was locally installed. That is what the QL flag there is for. Okay, so moving on, uh, we also have pacman-qdt, uh, and that's going to tell us unneeded dependencies. So that's, and in this case, I, I actually don't have any, but if you're, for example, if you'd removed a package without RNS, without the extra N and S flags, uh, well, really the S flag, um, and you had dependencies left over that you just don't need for anything else, um, that's what QDT will tell you. And you could actually do, um, that's just gonna give it with the version number. So if I wanna remove the version number, I could do QQDT and then uh, I could pipe that into uh, RNS uh, just with a dash at the end. And that would go ahead and remove those unneeded dependencies for me. And usually um, they're referred to as orphan packages. So just packages that, they're orphans, they don't belong to any other packages. Um, they're not needed. You didn't explicitly install them and they weren't installed as, uh, or the dependency that they were installed for is now gone. Um, so that's that. You also have the Pacman cache. So whenever you update a package, um, it's going to save a cached version of the old package. And uh, if you don't clear your pack, uh, cache, um, that'll add up over time. You know, if you don't clear it for months on end, and especially if you have a small disk, um, you might want to be clearing it every so often. And I will show you something later on that's actually a hook to clear it. Or I think it's I think it saves like the, the last three and then it clears everything else. Uh, but just for now, uh, to clear it, it's just pacman-scc. 
Uh, and yet for this example, I'll remove everything and that, that'll remove your cache. So that should free up a lot of space on your root partition if you haven't cleared that in a while. Um, okay. Oh, uh, let's let's actually look at the Pac-Man configuration file. So I'm just gonna open this on my user account. You would, you would need to be sudo to edit this. Um, okay, so this is just configuration. Let's see if there's anything important to discuss in here. Most of this is probably just gonna be a little bit self-explanatory and there's also comments explaining. So like you could change, you know, where your cache is if you wanna cache it to, you know, a separate disk or something. You change where the log file is, all sorts of stuff. Um, okay, this is, this is kind of important. So ignore package. Um, okay, yeah, this is read only, like I said, so I can't remove these. But ignore package and ignore group is just gonna say if, if there's, for example, a package and the upgraded version is bringing a bug and they haven't fixed it yet, you could add it to ignore package, just downgrade it, add it to ignore package, and I'll show you how to downgrade uh, in, a, in a bit. Um, and that way, when you're updating your system, uh, that package will be left alone and you can just up upgrade it once the bug is fixed. Uh, yes, that is saying that you're going to do a partial upgrade, which really isn't recommended, but obviously there will sometimes be a circumstance where that does make sense to do just because a package like introduces a unlivable bug and, you know, you want to downgrade it until they fix it. That's how that works. Um, oh, okay. There's, there's some options here. So first of all, color, um, if you see when I, when I'm, uh, using, uh, Pac-Man to update, it, it is colored. So that's what the color flag here is for. Uh, the check space, I think, uh, what that one is, is just not allowing you to download if you're out of space. Um, this one's an Easter egg that just makes Pac-Man, like, look like an actual Pac-Man when you're, you know, it's the, it's the little C character going along. That's, that's just, you know, stupid. You don't need it. Um, and then parallel downloads. Okay, that's kind of important. That can say how many downloads you want at the same time. So if you're updating, you know, 100 packages, um, usually I think it's by default, it just will do, I don't know, I, I want to say it's two, uh, it'll do some number by default at a time, but you can actually specify how many you want it to do at a time and how many, uh, of the packages it'll start downloading as it's going. So that's parallel downloads. Um, you can, you can of course add custom repositories if you want to, you could enable testing. Um, personally, I don't, um, Oh, uh, multi-lib, that's for 32-bit applications, so you can enable that if you want to install 32-bit applications, and okay, I think that's uh, that's probably all the really important stuff in that file, so that's just some con configuration there if you need it, and you will have to edit that, you will have to uh, edit that as sudo, so I could edit it sudo uh, and vim. Okay, so that is that. Um, okay, so on to, I said I would talk about downgrade, let's talk about downgrade. So, um... I believe you do have to install downgrade. I think it's just, um, I don't think it's AUR. So I think it's just, um, let's see. Oh, it might be AUR. Okay. Well, I'll teach you how to get access to the AUR in just a few minutes here. But what downgrade is really useful for is just, it's just a convenient way to downgrade a package. If like I said about, you know, if a package somehow introduces a bug, um, you know, and they're taking forever to fix it and you really just want to use the older version of that package well, You could just do like sudo downgrade. Let's let's uh, pretend we're downloading uh, downgrading pacman here um, And that's Very good because that all so first of all, I, I did clear my cache Otherwise, I would have some cached packages here, uh, but you can just go through and select whatever version you need um, Obviously, you're probably just going to want to go back to the previous version before the bug was introduced. Um, but that is actually, oh, I can't, I can't quit it. All right, there. Um, that is actually kind of a lifesaver if for whatever reason you have some really essential package and, you know, there's a bug and you need to immediately downgrade it. Uh, and then of course, just, and I believe downgrade actually asks you, asks you if you want to add that to ignore package. And I think you can say yes or no. Uh, but of course, if you are going to downgrade and you do add it to ignore package, just keep an eye on it. And whenever uh, the bug or whatever it is is fixed, just upgrade so that you're not doing any partial upgrades. Um, and yeah, that's downgrade. All right. So AUR. Um, AUR is the Arch user repository, if you don't already know. 
yeah, you are here. So that's just community packages, so not official packages. And obviously there's all sorts of essential packages in here. You're probably gonna wanna get access to that. So to do that, you have to install an AUR helper. Um, and feel free to skip through this if you already have this. But uh, in my case, I'm gonna install Yay since I've used that a while. It's a, it's a good it's a good AUR helper. So to do that, you're, you're just gonna wanna use uh, git clone. And I, I copied the URL here just so that I have the URL. Um, so I would just git clone uh, that'll go into a directory and I can change directory into that. Uh, and if we ls here, I should have a package build. So I can just uh, make pkg-si. And if I press enter, that'll go ahead and install. And then I will have Yay. I already have Yay, so uh, I'm just gonna go back and remove EA real quick there. Ah, uh, jeez, let me, boom. All right, <laughs> would not recommend using rm-rf if you aren't 100% sure you're ready to remove something. All right, Um. anyways, so the one final thing I did want to talk about, well, two more things. So first of all, that um, clearing your cache hook that I was talking about, I think it's a pack cache-hook here. Uh, yeah, perfect. And I, I actually have that installed. So um, what that's going to do is just every, uh, I think, I think it's, I think it leaves behind the past three packages. I want to say it leaves behind the past some number of packages, and I'm sure you can configure how many packages uh, and it'll just clear previous cache packages. So if you have unneeded extra packages in your cache, it'll clear it when you do an upgrade and you install a new version, but it'll just leave behind, you know, the past three or whatever so that you do have those locally in case. Uh, I think when you install that, you have to, you do have to system CTL enable that. So I think it's just uh, sudo system CTL enable and then pack cache, or it's either pack cache or pack cache dash hook, uh, one or the other, and then you can just enable that and that'll clear it automatically for you. And I did want to talk about very quickly two common troubleshooting things uh, with Pac-Man. So, First of all, um, if you ever get an error that's, uh, I think it's unable to lock the database, uh, you just want to remove your uh, Pac-Man uh, db. I think it's l l c k file here, um, because for whatever reason, if you somehow manage to run two Pac-Man instances at once, and you can't do that, you can't you know upgrade in you know two terminal windows simultaneously. You can only run Pac-Man one at a time. Um, but that command, I think you might need to run it with sudo, but um, that will hopefully fix your problem if you get the uh, unable to lock the database error. Um, and then one other error, if you somehow manage to shut off your system while you're doing an upgrade, now I would recommend don't do an upgrade if you know, you're worried the power is going to go out or something. but. Um, if for whatever reason you manage to do a partial upgrade and then there's all sorts of errors, your system is unbootable, etc., um, you will need to go back in with your Arch install medium. And if you recall when installing, you did Arch dash change root or ch root. Um, so you can go back there and just get access to your system. And what you want to do is you want to check the uh, var slash log uh, slash pacman dot log and figure out exactly what packages you were trying to upgrade. Uh, and then uh, go back back out of change root. Um, and I guess you don't have to change root, you can just mount and look at it. Um, uh, just go back out and then use packstrap to reinstall those. And if needed, just packstrap reinstall whatever you need to reinstall. Uh, and that is how you can fix that if you manage to, uh, I don't know, shut off your computer during an upgrade via whatever means. All right, so um, that should be pretty much all of the essentials of Pac-Man here. Um, as always, if there's anything I got wrong or anything else you want me to talk about or any questions, leave me a comment. I will reply to it. Um, hope this helped you out. Hope you learned something. Uh, and see you next time. Peace.